a nail driver that is affordable coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Today we're taking a look at the Foxtrot Mic FM9B. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I get it out to the range and I help you decide if you need a little nail driver in your life. Spoiler alert, it's awesome. Hey, if it's your first time here, we always put a ton of stuff right down below for you to check out, including a link that's gonna jump over to our website. And if you're already on the website, look up above and down below Below. There's a lot of stuff in there to help you out in the bang department. So check it all out and see what you think. Finally, check out this shirt and a lot more Pew Pew Tactical merch in our official merch store. The link is, yeah, it's right down below. Okay, so this is the Foxtrot Mic FM9B. It's an AR9 that, yes, it does take Glock magazines. Now, you can get it with different length barrels, 10 inches, 5 inches, but the one that you're seeing here is the one that I tested. It's the little guy with a four inch barrel. Sweet little M-Lock rail with a blast diffuser up front, MFT grip, and an oversized mag release that I do like a lot. What it comes with is maybe the worst box in the industry, MSRP right now, as tested, is $670, and good news, it does come with that box. It comes with a full rail down the top. Now, I added the Vortex Spark red dot. I'll have a link somewhere in the article. The red dot rocks, but check it out for yourself. Now, as far as aesthetics, it's a clean looking gun, and the four leaf clover logo is all right by me. I think it's kind of cool. The controls are gonna feel familiar immediately, and that bolt release feels fantastic. Look at the machining on that bad boy. Okay, let's get out to the range. For this test, I used every Glock magazine that I could find, and for ammo, it says right on the box that you can't use steel, so I used anyone? Yep, Blazer Brass. The trigger I'm gonna call clean. It's almost zero uptake, and it has a really nice break, so no big complaints from me on that trigger. Now, this isn't good or bad, but the shorty, the one that I tested, does not have a lot of purchase room for your hands, so I really had to pay attention to where my fingers were, but holy guacamole, this thing is concealable. So as a truck gun or a backpack gun, it is absolutely perfection. Now, accuracy-wise, I'm gonna call it surprisingly good. A little nail driver is what I said at the beginning. It really is. And that's like $500 of ammo you're seeing right there. As far as reliability, outstanding. It ran like butter. I do think it feeds a little easier if the magazines are not loaded all the way to the top. So just leave one out of each magazine. A lot of guns are like that. Now, as far as the different brands of magazines, I didn't see any differences. They all ran great. Now, one thing Foxtrot Mike is known for is their patented last round bolt hold open and it worked for me every time. Okay, let me tell you what I like. First is that machining, super well made and I like that the receiver is milled from billet aluminum. Now second, I really like how small it is, totally concealable. And finally, I like that price, a lot of bang for the buck. Okay, I've got three shortcomings for you on this pistol. First, I'm not a big fan of the brace in the back. That's a super easy fix. And I don't like that it only runs brass. In this current ammo economy, steel is just easier to find and it's cheaper. But for me, the big one that I absolutely abhor is that it doesn't come with a single magazine. I'm calling that lame-o. Now, this next part, the final part, is not good and it's not bad. But if you get the super short one like I did, you won't have rail space up front to do a light and still be able to have a full grip. So if you're gonna be using this one as a home defense setup, you may wanna consider the five inch one or maybe even the 10 inch. But for a backpack one, definitely that four inch, it's really small. Now overall, what a fun little gun. I mean that, it looks fantastic. It feels even better. And it really, really for me ran absolutely awesome. So again, from me, big, big thumbs up. On behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny, and we'll see you soon.